During your playthrough of Remnant 2, you may come across the Cathedral of Omens dungeon. This is just a puzzle dungeon, where there's a total of four puzzles that are going to reward you with loot. In today's video, I'm going to go through each of these puzzles and show you exactly how to complete them. Before we get into it, if you do enjoy today's video, please give it a like and a share to support it. And subscribe for more content, I'd appreciate it, thank you. So the Cathedral of Omens is a dungeon that you can find on the Yasha world. You may bump into this on your first playthrough, through your main campaign, you may not because it is a random dungeon. If not, once you've completed Yasha, you'll be able to reload it in adventure mode. And you can keep on re-rolling it until you find the dungeon. There are obviously two different storylines you can get for Yasha. One is at the Forbidden Grove start point, another one is a different start point. This dungeon can appear on any of the start points, so you don't need to worry about that. When you find the dungeon, you'll notice in the central area that there's this big sort of structure. You're going to find three levers that you can pull, which will alter this structure and change the pattern that is on the floor. And there's a couple of doors that are locked. If you have a look around, you'll find this note on the floor, which is a clue to how the puzzle works. And you'll also find this book as well. This is again a clue to how you solve all of these puzzles in the Cathedral of Omens. Three of the four puzzles can be completed at any time from when you unlock this dungeon. There's one more puzzle though that requires a Blood Moon event. And if you look through the ceiling here, which is in the hallway as you start the Cathedral of Omens, you'll see a big red moon if it is that event. If not, you can just keep on coming back to the checkpoint. Uh, you can fast travel back to Ward 13 and come back until you get the event. And again, you'll know when you've got the event because on this corridor when you enter the cathedral, the hole in the roof there, you'll see this big red moon. As long as you see that moon, you're able to do all four puzzles. The Blood Moon event is time though, so you do want to be quick about it. I'm now going to show you how to open the first door. This door here is straight across from the corridor on the entrance that you came in on. So where I'm stood here is at the entrance. This is the point we're going to be using for all of these puzzles. Now this first lever here is going to spin to the circles and the triangle on the shadow. The lever to the right over here is the lever that will rotate the icons. So when you pull this, you'll notice that icons rotate. And then the third lever over on the left side of the room from the entrance will rotate the other circles. So for the door just across from the entrance, this is the entrance here where we came in. Uh, you'll see the door opening just now right in front of us. You need the puzzle to look like this. Just take a screenshot now or pause the video and have a look at what it looks like. You've got the doe symbol closest to us, the ravenger symbol across the way. You can see where the moon symbol is. You can see where the circles are and the triangle on the shadow is pointing left. Once you've got it set up just like that by using all the three levers, this door is going to open and you're going to be rewarded with this seed. It's a faith seed. You're able to take this back to Ward 13 and craft a mod later on. You'll just need to visit Ava at Ward 13. She'll be able to craft you the Astral Burst Weapon mod for that Faith Seed, some Luminite Crystal, and some Scrap. And what it does is it fires a short-range burst of 7 Star Fragments, which deal 35 damage each. Fragments bounce off the walls up to 3 times, dealing 35% additional damage per bounce. I am now going to show you how to open the door over to the right as you come into the area. This also has the Blood Moon puzzle in too. And we'll be using the area where we enter as a point of navigation just to make things easy. So just use the three levers again to make the pattern look like this. It'll open that right door. You've got like that icon over there in a circle. You've got the Ravager icon right near you in a circle. The moon icon to the right in a circle. And the triangle's kind of pointing to the right and upwards. Again, take a screenshot of that if you want. I was standing near the entrance where we came in. Once you've got it matching, just run into this room. And as long as you've got the Blood Moon active, this is going to open. If you don't have the Blood Moon, it won't open you'll still collect this loot though but with the blood moon active you're able to open the trap door and drop down inside inside here you're going to find free blood moon essence which is very valuable and you'll also find this ring of omens the Ring of Omens looks like this and evades cost 10.714% max health as grey health instead of stamina 
We are on to the last puzzle now, but you'll notice there are no extra doors. But if you look above the entrance where we come in, you can see that triangle. That does signify that there is another puzzle in the area. So again, we're going to be using the three levers to create a pattern on the floor. Again, I am standing at the entrance to the area where you come in, and this is what the pattern looks like. Once you get the pattern right, this item is going to come up in the center. So this arrow icon here will be pointing at you at the entrance. You've got a circle with the Ravager icon in. You've got the other icon with a circle there, that icon with a circle there, Doe icon with a circle there, Moon's just to the left outside of a circle. Now what you want to do again, oh, you see the triangle as well. It's kind of pointing towards us. Again, take a screenshot if you want of this just match how this looks and you'll get this item pop up in the center and the item that you were rewarded with is the sagittarius this is a high powered bow which deals bonus damage to weak spots it can be charged for increased effect perfect release after charge for maximum damage the mod that you get is starfall that fires a powerful arrow which deals 30 damage and opens a 7 meter portal that rains down star fragments. Each fragment deals 50 damage within 4 meters and it lasts for 6 seconds. And that is every puzzle that is in the Cathedral of Omens. I hope this video has been helpful. I chose to use like the entrance point to the area as a point of navigation just because it can get a little bit complicated. So as long as you are standing at the entrance points where, where you come in, you just need to match what I've shown you on screen for each of the puzzles. If it has been helpful, don't forget to hit like and share as I asked earlier. I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe for more content. There's a link down below to my Remnant 2 playlist. If you want to go and watch some more videos now. But until next time, thank you for watching this one. Stay safe and peace out.